Hello and welcome guys back to another part of MS Saga, this is part DOS. And we start off again as our protagonist, a over-designed character. We have our ragtag team so far of Mel Lee, cliched, bright hair color, two different eye colors, weird short jacket, undershirt that's possibly too long, a uh, gothic savvy chick, who's also, well, gothic and tech savvy. So I was going to our sidekick character, who's also got crazy headgear and a scarf with bolts in it? I don't know. But we're going to Angela. I think that's what it's called. Angelia? Angela? Well, first off, we gotta leave this place. Gotta get going. Gotta get mosey on out of here. And unfortunately, we're not ready yet, so we're going to Angelia. So, he wants to go check out the orphanage. And leave it to an orphan. I wanna go see an orphanage. 100% great orphan me. Right for the taking. Mmm, delicious. So we're gonna be heading over there to check out the burn or like it's like we need more motivation for our revenge. Let's go check it out. Because uh obviously can't have enough revenge. So, as you would have guessed, and I've probably seen the last episode, we have random battles. I'm just going to go through this one normally, then I guess I'm gonna speed up the rest. Um I'm hoping that this is the battle that unlocks our boost gauge. If I remember correctly, it's like one of the first couple of battles, or is it we have to get to level 2? I'm not sure, can't remember, but we'll find out soon enough as we keep into this. So I'm going to do a total of 23 damage. Eventually I'm going to be able to memorize patterns and kill them off, hmm, excuse me, pretty efficiently. Right now I just have knuckles and a sword, or not even a sword yet, I have an axe, an iron battle axe for the Viking Lords. So I'm gonna waste some repair here, which is basically what I'm gonna be using a lot of the time, because uh, I want to save items, because we're gonna get into positions where we're fighting bosses in areas and dungeons, sort of places where we don't have a lot of access to shops, or chests for that matter. It's not like they throw us like a bajillion chests at us. It's like, here's an item, take out an item, here's an item. So we're not gonna get a lot of items, is what I'm basically trying to say if you haven't got that through your thick skulls. So yeah! We have our stuff, we're going to be going to the orphanage. Basically get a cutscene, I think? Who knows? Yes, we are here. Like we left it. Just like we left it. Didn't even tidy up the place, we just left it in rubbles. Just to mark our hearts with the scars of our fallen brothers. Ugh, right across our hearts. So we just put out that fire. Wow, those were some things, I tell you what. Do you have everything next? I, I have my soul, my hands for picking up tools, making fire, I have shoes, so I guess that's okay. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to get into any fights, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I promise. No fights. Spoilers! He totally breaks that promise, like, a bajillion times for the concept of this game. He's battling and giant robots. Does that count as fights? Do we need fist fights? But I think robot, giant robots fights are a lot cooler, even though they're... They're SD. But, uh, whatever. That's how it goes. It goes pretty well like that. Look at this guy. Look at them eyes. Gotta get a close-up shot just to let you know what's going on with them. We're better to s oh. Shit. That sucks. I, am I hope you had insurance. Oh wait, they never rebuilt the place, so what does it matter? Even if they had insurance. That's what they did. They spent all their insurance money on building giant robots. Brilliant. Brilliant. Don't rebuild the orphan. Oh, actually, they actually used the G system, but given the concept in my mind, I was like, all this money to giant robots, we could have spent rebuilding our orphanage, putting the fight behind us, trying to start anew. What the? What is that? That's what we call a Zaku, my dear boy. Oh no! Oh dear me! Me then. He is no use to us. He is but a boy! Batman. I can't even do the Bane voice right now. God, I can do it like yesterday. 
Hello, Giant Batman. Robots. Yes. No. Let him live. No. It'll be of no consequence later. Obviously. He is but a child. It's not like he's going to get giant robots later and try to kill us or anything. About our business. No. Miss Natalie. No. 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 Say it isn't so. Oh, look at all that rubble. There's some barrels over there. It's probably... What do they have, like, barrels of gasoline in the basement or something? I don't know. Let's make a promise right now. We'll fight and make them pay, negating the promise I made that day, even though I just remembered it. She'd probably be turning over in her grave right now. Oh yeah, and get a lot used to this. Didn't I, did I already say get used to this in the last episode? But uh, yeah, this is going to happen a lot to screen with the text, white text, and the inner monologuing. Just wow. Can't get enough of it, really. Hell, you can make an entire game around this. I'd pay fifty-eight seventy-three exactly for a game like that. Goodbye. Miss Natalie. So that's, uh... That was cool. So, we're baking it, Angela. Oh my god, I wonder how far it is. Oh, it's right here, never mind. No way. It's, uh... It was like ten feet away from the orphanage. Also, get used to that. Like a lot of half cutscenes. See, they pick them up in those voice texting thingies, and then they go st or they start off with voice acting, and then they go into text based, which is odd. Full voiceovers to text, and not a very good transitioning. <clears throat> so we have our letter to Miss Natalie, even though they say he does never heard of us or something like that. He was I wasn't told anything about us. Are you really a friend of Mary's? You bet I am. You bet I'm a friend of that... ...character, sunglasses, tech-savvy gothic chick. Who is not also not... This guy looks pretty normal in his blue camouflage jacket hiding from the enemies in a in the ocean, I guess? I never really got the colors for the uniforms that basically camouflage with a blue... ...or purple, or red, for God's sakes. I'm hiding in this blood. Hmm, Constable Locks. We're gonna go to the Unicorn office. Which, uh, unfortunately, Unicorn Gundam is not in this game, which would be awesome. I love that show. Unicorn Gundam, best Gundam series yet, in my opinion, since, like, the originals, so. Here, I'm just gonna get some repair done. Repair my stuff, woman, and give me mead to repair my heart. So, honestly, repairing our mechs is gonna be a lot more, uh, beneficial to us than repairing our souls, because we can. Basically, rest for cheaper, but it's going to cost more to repair our mechs. Hmm. Hmm. With giant robots, don't worry about them. We just walk into everyone's places and shoot them with giant guns and hit them with axes. I don't know why I always channel Arnold at random plot places. You're going to hear that a lot in regardless of what LP this is or what series I'm doing. Heck, when I start doing Minecraft stuff, you'll probably hear that all the time. So, hope you don't mind. We're the only survivors. Oh, children fighting orphans. Um, sure, that sounds reasonable. As long as you have a reason like that, I can't say no. It's practically like the saddest backstory ever written. Next, uh, the chick from Wreck-It Ralph. Who had the saddest backstory ever programmed, or something like that. So, that's our next destination, if you don't get it. Yellow text, important. Normal text, not important. So we're going southeast to the Ark. The Moon Ark, I believe. I don't read text boxes. Who does? If you want to read the text boxes, remember to pause the video and read it yourself. This is an RPG, man. we got to go through this like fast, like snap, 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 snap. Got to get through there. Um, fortunately, though, the random battles are always going to be a pain and a nuisance in the slow down. I believe between the next part and this part, I might do some grinding, or as soon as I get an opportunity to find a save point and just go back to it, I'll probably just grind off camera just to be to a decent enough level to work and just zip through this. Speaking of which, I'm just going to speed up this part right here and just screw this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, one thing I do like is that it does select my, uh, 
last attack and use it as my new attack. Though that gets annoying, especially when I'm like, go, 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 but I have repair. So I just keep repairing for some reason. <clears throat> so here we make it to our first dungeon. You can't see it now, but I'm doing air quotes because dungeons are corridors. If I wasn't already doing a series called Corridor Simulator, this one would definitely have it basically too. God, what is my games that I liked when I was younger being about corridors and stuff? I don't know. But the gameplay is cool, and the whole concept about this is mixing and matching Frankenstein Gundams. Even though we haven't got to that part yet, I mean, once we start doing that stuff, it's just like Persona 3. Once we start fusing Personas and training them, everything gets a lot more interesting and uh, a little bit more relatable to Pokemon. I know I don't want to say that a lot because we're a lot of Pokemon stuff anyway. Um, my graphics card's coming in Monday. Today's the uh, 23rd, I believe, so day after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. This will probably go up today. So, uh, yeah, cheers. I'm going to drink some water while I go through the clip screen right here. <sighs> so, yeah, this grid-based system is uh, pretty awesome. Um, so, uh, we'll eventually level up, unlock most of it, and we can have, like, crazy guns like the double buster rifles and all sorts of shenanigans and stuff. But that's like later on in the match. I'm pretty sure to get the Buster Rifle, I think we have to clear the game first. I can't remember, it's been a while since I played, but uh, let's fight our first enemy here. I believe this is a tutorial fight, so I'll go normal speed through this. So yeah, these guys look tougher, they're tanks. The good thing about tanks and mechs is that tanks can't physically harm you. Anything with arms practically can count you. So that's a rule if you're playing this game. Remember to watch out for enemies with arms, because uh, you can't hit them with axes, beam sabers, fists, whatever you want to do. Uh, especially when we get some other characters later on, I don't want to spoil too much. Spoil too much. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, guns usually shoot in bursts of attacks, depending on what type of gun you have. I think beam, actually beam rifles, I think, hit in one shot, surprisingly. So, machine guns hit multiple bursts. And rifles hitting one powerful burst, which I actually kind of prefer, because uh, eventually you'll learn that machine guns, unless you have a really powerful, like a beam machine gun or something like that, it's not going to be doing a lot of damage because uh, it does like four damage, three damage, two damage per hit. Well, right now, and at least, but I mean, once we start getting crazy levels and stuff, things are going to be going a little bit faster, a little bit crazier. So I missed, even though it looked like I hit dead on. I mean, come on, guys, I hit it with my goddamn ass. Let me just slash through you, and, uh, uh, I missed. Oh, boy. That's, that's some good, uh, visuals right there. So, uh, we learned our boost attack. Sweet. And it fits on his boost attack, all attack. So I have a boost attack called boost attack, and he has a shot or something. That's, that's, that's completely fair. So, I really want to use a repair kit here and just get up to full health. And, uh, because like I said, I, I honestly need to switch to the part where I, like, uh, back to not using items as much, but I don't know. I want to use TP if this is the type of game when you run out of MP, you die, which is like your trainer points, or not your trainer points, your, 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 uh, I don't know. I don't know what TP stands for, honestly. Technique, technique, technique points, technique points. Trainer points. Got Pokemon on the brain. Which I really should get back into battling. I haven't uploaded a PMP since my first upload, which I really need to get back into that. My problem is like I have trouble running Decime without my graphics card. Um, right now, if everyone's like, "How are you recording this next?" Because I'm not emulating this. I'm HD PVRing off my PS3 into this. So yeah. Damn. HTTPR makes me able to record the same thing with uh, Call of Cthulhu on my Xbox. I'm not emulating any of this. I actually own these games. In fact, I bought this copy of MS Saga just at Let's Play, and it was brand new in the packaging. And honestly, I love it. I love opening old games. It's just amazing. I know it degrades their value because the value goes drastically from 50 bucks all the way to four dollars at the end of this game. So yeah, um, no, it's not definitely not the worst thing in the river, but the only RPG in the game, because, uh, yeah, Gundams and RPGs, apparently they, they don't sell very well as one. So I'm going to slice open this tank, 
finally get over this battle, and we're gonna move on here. Keeping alive with our swords. Don't ever sing on camera, because I am terrible at singing. Really? Oh boy. So now we're gonna finally almost make it to this arc. I believe we have a couple more guys to find the boss later. Oh well, yeah, first boss coming up soon. It's gonna be great. Um, this is not the boss. This is just an orange crystal that's just floating midair. We're gonna speed up this bet. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just... Counterattacks. This is where we learn about counterattacks, even though we totally know about them already. It's not like hard to understand. It's like, what's the other thing going on? Where, why is he attacking me? I remember the guy in the beginning was counterattacking. I don't know why they have to go into, like, detail about this, considering we learned that in the first battle. That's just how this game goes. It's just like, secretly, they're like trying to use the first, like, hour of the game as a tutorial level. And... I don't know if anyone knows how I feel about tutorial levels, but... Hey! Hey! Use X button to... to attack! Use the arrow keys to choose your menu option! Uh What now? I, I couldn't get any of that. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm lost. I have... Press A to... You said press circle to slide? Press circle to slide. Press circle to slide. All right, shoot all in. Kill all these bastards. Well, I didn't kill anybody, but boost attack good. They're just showing off like boost attack and stuff. Like that, Why not do that? And these guys are annoying as fuck. Making me waste repairs. Yeah, I try to keep an eye on my TP. I think I have one drink that kills my TP, but eh. I don't care anymore. Let me get through this. Why no one can ever watch you playing a Final Fantasy game before, like, where you can see the enemies. Was it 12 that started doing that? Where you can see the enemies before time? I don't know, but whoever invented that, I love you because it's such a simple feature that everyone I take for granted half the time playing games. <sighs> you curse the random battle system for ever being invented. So I got some cool stuff, I might try that out later, but right now, I don't really see a need to do it. Wow. Hmm. Door's locked. Eh. I don't want to deal with that. What's this chest? Protected. Of course it is protected. Of course. Of course. Um, yeah. So we're going to go through this passageway here and hopefully lead us to... Final area, maybe? Um... Shit. Screw it. I don't even care anymore. Um... Let's go overkill on these sons of bitches. Blum, bam. Ow! Kablow! Blum, blam, spam. So all these guys are gonna die, which is great. How was everyone's vacation? I, uh, I didn't have vacation, I just had normal everyday life, because I'm... <laughs> I proposed to my girlfriend, because I'm 24 and I'm in law school. Yo, that's very nice. How's he even in there? Here. He's apparently a half quarter genius when it comes to... <laughs> yeah. Why's kids you now? Great show ever. Honestly, yeah, I need to switch out this crap. So, Fritz is my shooter guy, and I have my best gun equipped to my uh, Nexus, so let's screw that crap. Give me the Zaku machine gun and give him the machine gun. It's like, seriously, it's like Zaku machine gun. That's like two words. It should be better than regular machine gun, right? Fortunately, I guess I'm terribly, terribly wrong. So I guess we'll, uh... Save the game here. I believe we have a boss coming up, so might as well. Um, and I guess I might call it quits here, because there's no point in like, we're already like almost 20 minutes in, and I can save that for the next boss battle. I know everyone's like, oh god, Nexus, you're always putting off the good fights until later. Gotta go through your shitty two parts of this to get to anything good. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Just, just deal with it. <laughs> uh, no, no, seriously, guys. Uh, remember to like, crap, uh, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next upload, which will be coming soon. Tomorrow. Daily uploads, hopefully. Peace.